Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Ram Sri. I'm a fractional developer advocate at Segmind and an ASAS builder. In this video, we'll look at an exciting topic, converting portrait images to landscape in one click using AI. We'll leverage the stable diffusion algorithm available as an API from Segmind. We'll combine it with image stitching algorithm of OpenCV and create wide landscape images from a single portrait image. Let's look at how we are going to achieve this in detail. First, we'll start with an image in the portrait form. You can find relevant images from stock photo sites like Pixabay, which offer royalty free images for commercial usage. We then fix our canvas for outpainting at 1024 by 1024 pixels. We take our image in portrait mode and then resize it such that the maximum dimension is 1024, which is usually the height. We will do outpainting with X offset as zero and Y offset as zero. This will outpaint the image such that the image is extended at the end by 1024 pixels. Now our goal is to extend the image on the left and right as well so that it becomes a landscape image. In order to achieve this, we are going to create two images by cropping the original image, one that captures the first three fourth and another that captures the last three fourth. Since our original image is 1024 by 1024, this will create two images of width 768 and height 1024. Now we place each of them on a new 1024 by 1024 canvas, but this time we extend the first cropped image on the left. So we give an X offset of 256 pixels and do out painting to get a 1024 by 1024 image. The second cropped image is extended on the right. So no X offset is necessary. And with out painting, it will generate a 1024 by 1024 version with the image extended. We finally have two images with a good overlap in the middle that can be combined to make a wide landscape image. We use OpenCV stitcher class and get a final image that is in landscape mode combining the two images. So we started with a portrait image and finally ended up with a wide landscape image all programmatically achieved using AI. Without any delay, let's see everything in action with code. This is the collab notebook that we are going to use and you can find the link of this collab notebook in the video description as always. Let's get started. Let's first uh, install ipyplot and then move on to the next section, which is we need to enter our Segmind key. So basically we are going to use Segmind. Segmind is a home for fast APIs for generative models, especially stable diffusion. So you can click on try models and search for out painting, stable diffusion out painting. So we are going to use this model to achieve what we want. Log into Segmind. And uh, once you are there, you can go to console. You will find all your API keys here. If you don't have anything yet, just click on create new API key. You can see your usage in this tab usage where you can see the total number of free credit left, left for the day as well as the credits that you have. This is shown in dollars. So basically you can go to billing and add how many ever credits that you want, which is in dollars and how do credits transfer to API calls. For example, whichever model that you're using, click on pricing and you can see if uh, your default generation is 768 by 768. This is the price per a API call. And for experimentation, we are going to use 1024 by 1024 itself. And any model you can click on the API. You can see both the JavaScript as well as the Python version of it. And you will see all the attributes and what they stand for. Now let's enter our segment API key and get started. Let's run this cell. So in this cell, I created some useful functions. So this is the code where I have written several functions. So saved cropped image 
it takes in parameter for crop which is crop last quarter or first quarter so basically you are going to take the image and then get three fourth of the image starting from the first or three fourth of the image leaving out the first quarter so depending on what you pass you will save one of those images and we'll see why this is helpful and the other function is to base 64 so we are going to pass base 64 image directly to the api and the function resize image is basically if you if your image dimensions are different than 1024 by 1024 we will try to adjust the maximum size to 1024 while maintaining the aspect ratio because we want to create a uniform canvas on which we want to paint the image that is generate the image to the left and right that's why we are going to use this resize image and this get image is the main function essentially the function that takes in all the parameters and generates the image that we want so you have the prompt and negative prompt scheduler and uh, you know image width and height the scale as well as offset x and offset offset y you have seen uh, these parameters what do they do and also the mask expand what it does so we create a seed and uh, we do a post call with uh, all the data that we have that is converting to base 64 the image and getting the response back and getting the response data and converting that into a pill image and returning that image so essentially get image is the main function that generates the image from our given input image we do out painting given the parameters other parameters and return the new out painted image so let's get started with our main code you can go to this link where the link takes you to pixabay which is a free stock photo website and we have filter orientation is equal to vertical so you can find all the portrait mode images that you can use to expand and uh, i picked one such portrait mode image which is hot air balloons in the air so let's click on download and uh, download one that is close to 1024 by 1024 so this should be good 900 by 1280 i'm just naming it as balloon.jpg so once that is downloaded go ahead and uh, upload that to google collab instance and once you're ready let's just uh, run this and let's see what the output is so essentially what we are doing is we are passing the balloon.jpg image and it's being uh, resized to 1024 whichever is the highest uh, dimension for example if the height is 1024 then it's resized to that and we are starting with offset of x and y as 0 so we are just pasting the image as it is on the 1024 by 1024 canvas and uh, because it's a portrait image there will be some space left and we are filling that space with the prompt sunset you can give any prompt that is relevant to the image and let's see how it is awesome so you can see balloons and uh, a tree so original image is this and uh, we got 1024 as the height but if you take 1024 as the width there is still space left and we are starting with offset 0 and 0 so that space is filled out painted by the prompt that we gave which is essentially sunset awesome now that we got this what we are trying to do is expand this even further to the right and to the left so in order to do that we are going to get two more images one which covers only three-fourths of this 
and the other which covers the last three fourth of this it will be very evident once we run so this code essentially crops this image and gets the first three quarters and the last three quarters so this is the first three quarters and this is the last three quarters as you can see and why are we doing this is once we have the first three quarters we can expand this on the left even further once we have the last three quarters we can expand this on the right even further for the first image we'll fill in for from the left for the second image we'll fill in from the right so in total we'll get expanded content to the left and right and we'll combine everything it will be very evident once you run so for example again we are giving the prompt as sunset because that fits in well with this let's run this so you can see that for the left image we gave offset as 256x offset because we want to leave 256 pixels x space that is we want to leave a vertical block of 256 pixels and we want that to be filled in whereas for the second image we are giving offset as 0 and 0 because we want the last 256 pixels to be filled in so you can see we got something this is great but this doesn't look good it looks a little bit uh, you know chopped off and something else is kept here so let's try to run it again and see if we can get better awesome this looks very blended in much better than previous now the beautiful thing is that we had our original image just this now we created a 1024 by 1024 canvas which is uh, this now we want to even further expand on the right and left that why, that's why we chopped it off such that we want to paint 256 pixel band to the left of this and 256 pixel band to the right of this which is exactly what we did we painted a band of 256 pixels vertical height to the left of this and again to the right of this now we want to combine these two images and the beautiful thing is that OpenCV has a simple function stitcher function where as long as there is overlap between images so there is this balloon overlap and this overlap it will try to perfectly overlap and make a bigger version of this picture so let's run that and this is the opencv stitcher code which will stitch everything together and create a final image this is awesome uh, looks like we did get a little bit of artifact on the right and left but that should be okay uh, we can download uh, the stitched image so whatever uh, we have balloon underscore stitched here we can just download that and just crop a little bit here and that should be perfect so let's see what the original image is so this is our original image and we just gave sunset as the prompt and we were able to get this image that is a wider version and uh, landscape version of the original image now you can just download this as jpeg and use it however you want let's uh, try the same thing with uh, one more image essentially let's pick this uh, image for example bear and a child since this is square dimensions i think the first image painting we are not going to get much but that's totally fine let's uh, call it bear.jpg and uh, let's again upload that 
now that we have it uploaded let's uh, replace and uh, depending on the image we can give something like um, tall trees with birds let's call that and uh, let's run this awesome uh, since it's already a square image and we are resizing the maximum width to 1024 perhaps there is no space for out painting that's why we got the exact image but now we are going to expand on the right and left as i mentioned let's create two versions of it which is 3 fourth and uh, the right part left and 3 fourth and the left part left awesome now we can expand this further on the right and left let's again run uh, with uh, tall trees awesome we got uh, two images with trees on the left and right let's try to merge them together again great so we got this as the merged image and our original image was uh, this so from this image we got this image now the interesting thing is that you can just fix the prompt and the file name and run it run everything in just one click so basically you create uh, basically you create a header text part that's it, that is run in one go and with that you can just run all the cells in one go and get your desired output in one click thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one